Hello and welcome back to Trash It. It's a beautiful day recording with a beautiful panel. We've got our brand new virgin. You know, Trash It be unboxing things. It's not even Christmas yet. Jackie, <laughs> welcome to the show. Welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. When we talk about fling and affair, do they actually mean the same thing? Mm. And can you forget <laughs> a fling? You know, like a one night stand, but not an affair. So my question to the to, to the panelists, and I will start with Talia, because she'll be giving me some vibes. <laughs> so what do you consider a fling? I mean, as far as I'm concerned, there's no difference between a fling and an affair. Oh, really? Okay. Well, you've you've desecrated our marriage by stepping out, whether it's one time, two time, you've done it. So there's no difference to me and it would be unforgivable. Let me pitch a picture to you. We're <clears throat> noble having dinner and this guy slides in. He'd be like, wow, look at the biceps. Mm, You're mm. never going to see him again. And just be like, the guy gives you an eye, a beeline. And then you guys dash for the private toilet. And boom, you're done. And you would never see this guy. So is it really an affair? The guilt lives on. So, yeah. For you as a woman. Affair. Yeah, it is an affair. I've stepped out. It's an affair. Regardless, another man has been where it should just be for my husband. So it's an, it's an affair. Whether it's a one night, a two night. It's an affair. Ten nights are okay. <laughs> Antonia, mm. what say you? Hey, I say lots. Okay. So first of all, <laughs> a fling, a fling is you having, like you said, a one one night stand. It could be anything, right? Then an affair is more like a graduation. You're going on top of the fling. Masters. So before you start having an affair, you may have had several flings. So you can, you know, you can see where you would progress from a fling to an affair. Because sometimes the people that people have fling with will just be saying, oh, let's just do it one time. Then let's do it two times, three times. Before you know it, it becomes a everyday, everyday yeah. time. So for me personally, I think, like Talia said, there's no difference between a fling and affair. It's just the reasoning behind it. For you to go outside your relationship, be it you're in a marriage or you're in a committed relationship or you're just a long-term partnership, whatever it is, and you decide that, oh, you want to have something outside of that circle, be it a fling, be it an affair, is totally wrong to me. I'm not one that will promote that kind of a thing. And I can see why it will be unforgivable. For me personally, I'm not going to forgive any man that decides to have a fling or to have an affair. However, however, mm -hmm. why do they have this fling and affair? I'm so, I'm oh, sure we'll, we'll come to that. Yeah, Jackie, well, yeah. yeah we'll come to that. You know, an, an affair is, a fling is, there's no emotion. It's just you're, you're in the moment. So, Jackie, really, what do you consider an affair? What, what's, what's, what's an affair? Um, straightforward. To me, a fling is a one-off thing. You just had a fling. An affair is a long-term thing where you've started having a relationship with this person and they actually become your lover. That, mm -hmm. An affair is a long-term. A fling to me is a one-off fling. Just simple terms as that. Of course, a fling can, you can have more than one fling. You can have a fling, fling, fling. <laughs> but an affair to me is you've got a relationship outside of your marriage or, or outside of your long-term relationship and you've got another relationship out there. So you're kind of like living two lives, really. You know, I'm gonna, just going to leave it as that because I know you're going to come to more. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that, Jackie. Celia, mm -hmm. a fling. Okay. A fling is something that you don't really have any emotional connection to. You just have an urge at that time and you just want to satisfy it and move on. Um, you might even look at the person you had it with the next day and be like, oh my God, I cannot believe I reduced myself to that. Or <laughs> I can't believe I did that. You know, you regret it. Most mm. some, some may not, but some people may regret it. And again, it can be the opposite. Like, okay, yes, I had a fling with her. 
I, I've conquered, it was on my bucket list and I've conquered that, right? <laughs> and then an affair for me is something that's more, um, it's, it's ongoing, right? It's ongoing. Um, your partner doesn't know. Um, you're enjoying this thing because it, 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 it's for you. It's an excitement. So it's like a, a child in a chocolate um, factory. So for you, every time you think about that person that you're having an affair with, something inside of you jumps for joy, right? And you're like, I can't wait to go back to that person or I can't wait to see that person. So there's emotional attachment. There is, um, there's that sort of commitment and you and that person, you know what you're doing. You're keeping it hush hush. And again, that might also be on the, another exciting thing about it because some people like it when they're hiding around and doing things and nobody, you know, they, that, that fear of being caught basically makes it even more interesting. And, yeah. You know, yeah. So for me, that, those are, that, that's the difference between the two. Okay. Now that you've said that, and I'm going to come back to you, Celia, before I move on to everyone. So say, for instance, it's not on your bucket list. You didn't plan out this for me. Mm. You didn't plan out. You know how we go to Christmas dues and say, do not bring your partner so that obviously you can let loose and enjoy. But there's yeah. this co-worker that you sort of kind of jammed into. There was drinks involved and it happened. Are you saying that reverse that? Would you not be able to forgive yourself to have allowed that to happen? Okay, so... Um... No, I wouldn't be able to forgive myself. And the only way I can forgive myself and move on is to tell my partner. Okay. Exactly. And that is why if anybody's been following the show, I'm not the kind of person that has a one night stand or just because I see a hot guy and I would just have sex with you because, oh, I just want to do it. No, if I see a hot guy and if you turn me on that much, yeah, I would hold it. When I get home, I will unleash on my husband like a ton of bricks, right? Okay. Yeah, because at the end of the day, as I keep saying, orgasm is only, the sex don't last longer than seven minutes. And imagine if in that scenario it's that you've it. explained, Yuri, right? That scenario that you've explained. And first of all, the man is going to do you in the toilet or on top of one table in one Dirty. classroom or in one office. That's reduced your worth as a woman and not just as a woman, as a married woman. So you've not mm. only embarrassed yourself, you've embarrassed your husband. Mm. You understand? And then after the sex, after that five minutes, seven minutes, and you might not even come, self. You understand? <laughs> you might not even come. And then in the end, by the time you finish with him, you're like, oh my God, you start becoming embarrassed. You'll be ashamed of yourself. I mean, mm -hmm. that's women, that's a, talking about a woman that has morals, though, because I'm mm. telling you, there are some Molo shows out there that don't give a toss. Okay. So they just carry on as if nothing happened and they keep it moving. So for me, I don't think I would ever fall into that situation because I'm not about that life, basically. Okay. Antonia, mm. you had that expression, like, yeah, what you yeah. on about? I mean, um, it's all right for Celia to say that, you know, and I completely agree with her ethos. However, there are some reasons why people would have flings, as we That's know. why I came to you. Exactly. So, basically, if your husband or your partner is not satisfying you, and there's this cis-pack guy, you know, you know, uh, uh, with... Uh, you're having fantasies, for instance, about, you know, and it, all of a sudden he's there and he's available. You get what I mean? And you, you do it. And from there, it dawns on you that actually your relationship that you're in is not actually worth it. It's mm -hmm. not giving you all the vibes that you need. You may want to move on, you know. So people have links for reasons. You know, it's not just for being drunk or being in a vulnerable position, you okay. know. They might have links because they're not being satisfied where, where, where they're at in their relationship at the moment. Or, you know, they want to explore something new that their partner is not willing to explore. So, you know, that's just another perspective. Why okay, sorry. Really, yeah. So what I would say to that is, you're mm. right, Antonia, people, people are no longer satisfied in the relationships that they're in and they're just there, just acting it, right? So why don't you leave that relationship? I know some people would say, oh, it's not that easy to leave. But it's easy for you to go and cheat on your partner. I'm not even going to say cheat on your partner. It's easy for you because any time a woman steps out in her marriage to mm. go and sleep with somebody else, you have reduced your value. 
okay you have reduced because number one that guy might not take you seriously because the guy knows that you're married and you're cheating on on your husband so do you think that guy is going to now marry you because you might do the same to him so for me if your relationship is that bad that you are not feeling you you don't find your partner attractive anymore sexually that you have to go out there to get it end that relationship and get it right okay because okay. you don't have to you, your vagina is not made for one man but if you know that the man is not doing it for you anymore end it divorce him and move on don't need to okay. hide that. hold that thought celia jackie let me come to you so from what antonia said now sometimes a fling can be a reality check that says okay i'm not gonna feel this person anymore mm -hmm. let me move on so at what point do you then say, well, really and truly was a mistake or actually this is a reality check? You, never, you know, with things, you never plan for it to happen. Mm -hmm. It might just be an accidental situation. It's situational, so to say. So, Jackie, let's hear from you. Um, uh, let me see now. Now, obviously, I'm thinking to myself with regards to a fling now and what Antonio was saying, that something's going on in the relationship. To me, something is going on in the relationship. Either you're not getting on, you're not communicating, things are broken down. You just, don't, you just have a don't care attitude now. A, a situation comes along, it could be even somebody that you've been admiring at work for That's a while. That's right. Mm. You just have your, your eye on them, you know, mm. it's nice. Mm -mm. It, that can happen. It takes something to happen, I believe, in your relationship for you to then actually go out there and have that fling. Mm. That's what I'm thinking to myself. But it has to be, to me, it's somebody that you may be admiring along the line and you, you know, you think that person's really nice. But then it could be a situation where you're out one night, too much drink, it could just be a stranger. Somebody mm. just start talking to you, you're both drinking and you're both going to itch up behind the wall or in the pilot or somewhere do you understand but i do believe it stems from the root of it is going to stem from a breakdown in the relationship unless that unless the wife is that kind of way anywhere be flirtatious or the man is a womanizer and love woman mm. okay Talia. do you understand so yeah Hold, yeah, Talia, we have to see you. You were like 50 50 with Antonia, 50 50 with Celia. So, give me on a B line. You know, I find it so difficult to comprehend when people say, Oh, I cheated because he's not satisfying me. Mm. I'm sorry, but mm. what have you done differently from your norm? Have you tried, have you explored yes. other things to say this man isn't satisfying you? Have you even had a conversation with this man to say, you know what, guy, you're not doing it for me. The next option for you is not to cheat or to have a fling. The next option is to say, you know what, let me explore what else there is out there mm -hmm. that can actually bring a spice or that can, you know, change things. I, I, I think I would condone it more or I would even... You know, close my eyes if you say, oh, I was drunk and it happened. Yeah. Okay. But please don't come and tell me with that foolish excuse that, oh, he's not satisfying me. Girl, yeah. if he's yeah, not I satisfying you, leave. There's no need to reduce yourself. to Because to me, I find <laughs> cheating, flings, or whatever they want to call it, degrading. Because like Celia yeah. pointed out, it will be in a bathroom or a scrummy classroom or a dirty desk. Like, or seriously, I'm worth far more than that. You need to be whining and dining me to get in between this cookie. Like, mm -mm. okay, mm. but <laughs> that that's is a me. very expensive cookie. But yeah, you see, yeah. very. <laughs> Times I know I know I say that it could happen with a drink. There, there, there might be some time where actually there's no problem in the relationship mm -hmm. because in the course of doing this research, I've seen people that actually had a fling. I said there was nothing wrong with my other cat. It, it just happened. So that takes me to the next question. We all work, okay, and you have a work husband and a work wife. In the sense that you got someone that is not there that was ah Talia is not here today. <laughs> no, no, I'm a fight. I don't have that. Sorry. I don't have no, that. I'm just saying. No, no, think about it. So you've got someone that says Talia is not work today. You talk about no, 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 no. It's not happening. This is what would happen. So you've got someone that you talk to. You're friends with that person. Okay, take your judgmental head out of this for two seconds. 
and be oh, like, very well, odd. I know. <laughs> and this is my friend. So do you think it's okay to have friends with benefits? You know, I can see everyone's face. Don't judge me. I'm just asking the question. Ah, everyone. And so yeah, did you just say, yeah? No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. see, see, when it comes to work environments, obviously there have to be boundaries. Okay, know, scratch work. Okay. Let's scratch work. Because you might be like, well, I don't want my work people to know what I'm doing. So mm. friends with benefits. Mm. Has anyone... Friends. With benefits, with benefits. Jackie, let, me, let me break friends with benefit down for you. So, there's this guy you talk to, he's one of your besties, but occasionally you be get down like that. But we know we're never gonna be together, we're just friends helping our situation. Mm, mm. Together, this is the reason why I think if you're in a relationship, friends with benefits should be a no no. This no, is the, re this is the yeah. reason why I say yeah. that. Uh, for me, as a as a woman, as a wife, I can't have close male friends exactly. because of this reason. There is no way, and I'm not even trying to make myself seem like I'm the most beautiful girl out there or whatever, but I've got qualities that I know that a man would want. So mm. even if he's not physically attracted to me, he would be attracted to my person. So no, there is no way that I would have men. a male yeah. friend yeah. that yeah. will not I'll take advantage. at some point yeah. Yeah, start to develop feelings. Yeah. So there's okay. no need. But if I was single now and I was still, you know, in the world and I still wanted to have in the fun, world. <laughs> you know, there's no reason you can have why those benefits. I can't okay. have a friend with a benefit. Yes. Now, hold As on, Talia. Woman, it's a I'll moment. come back to you because I want you to go back in the world. Now that you are, yes, <laughs> let's let me just ask you say for instance you're in a situation that your hobby your hobby is very busy and he's not there he's traveling he travels a lot you crave that attention you've got someone that gives you a listening ears and you know there's a casual guy that you're friends with <laughs> are you telling me that you won't cave Listen, I no, no, no. this I'm a very principled person, mm. and there are things that I don't Sometimes want to happen kush, in my the life. The coochie is not principled. It thinks eh, on this own. this coochie has been principled from when I was young. Listen, I've had certain principles that I have not let slip. So growing up, I had a principle of no dating married men. If I know that he's in a relationship, it's a no-no for me. I don't want no drama. I don't want any anything that's going to complicate my relationship. It's not now that I'm older and I'm married that I will not start letting so, such principles lie. I mean, I just mm. lie, rather. At the end okay. of the day, I've got kids. Mm. I, what if the guy was emotionally abusing you and you need a listening ear? It, it can't work. Call it, call it work. I'm gonna hold on, hold on. I'll come to no, you. No, I want no, to take no. Talia back to the world now. Okay, I've taken you <laughs> back into the world. Sing, you're single, no strings right. attached. Mm -hmm. This guy is single. Your principal, no married man, nothing. This guy's got no one. Right. But you're right. Friend. And you know, I actually don't want to be tied down with this guy. That what your right. your besties. Right. The coochie needs help. That's what I. That's why I said when I was in yes. the world, mm, you know, mm, it's something mm. that I could have considered if I was mm. attracted to yes. him and I had no strings attached. He had no strings attached. Of course, yeah, something could happen. Like I said, I'm not a saint, but I ha I'm very principled. So if there was any strings attached, not now or him or even if he had something, mm -mm, it won't happen because okay. I don't like embarrassment. And I, there is no way that I want anybody to talk down on me or to embarrass myself. That's embarrassing. I know that this man, that this man has a partner or has a girlfriend, and I'm putting myself. Which legs is he gonna come in between? These okay. legs are sacred. They're for no. my husband and my children when they came out. And <laughs> All right, you can yeah. come back into the um, unfiltered world. Antonia, sorry I stopped you there yeah. because I wanted to take her out and take her okay. into the world and bring her back. <laughs> I think what I wanted to say what, what, when Talia was um, talking was we shouldn't um, shy away from the fact that there's a, 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 mostly there are elements of vulnerability that comes um, with having flings and having affairs. You know, like we said, in a marriage situation, if you're not getting what you, if you're not being loved within that environment, and like um, Jackie said before, if the communication is not there between your partner and yourself, yeah. there's that tendency for you to lean towards having a bestie someone that will listen to you like a guy it could be your ex that's maybe single at the moment you know and you're talking 
No, let, I can see your head not I'm just, I'm just, I'm yeah, just, yeah, yeah. I'm just painting a picture of why yes. people oh, yeah. commit yes. people yes. And, and, have and have a fling. I'm not advocating mm. for it. I'm That's just right. trying to explain right. the vulnerabilities that some mm -hmm. women or some men as well go through mm. when their wife is nagging, 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 not giving them what they want. They would then have that, you know, friend that oh. It's supposed to be a friendship, but mm. it then progresses from, oh, it was just one mistake. We were having a drink and talking to you're doing it every now and then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. is the reason why yeah. I always say, don't put yourself in that compromising position. Mm. There's no need to have an opposite sex as a friend. Why can't I be your friend? Mm. Sorry, why can't mm. I be your bestie? Even if we're going through something, if we're very good friends, we can you know we can overcome what we're going through and become friends again i yeah. understand the vulnerabilities that happen and that's the reason why i say there is no need to have a friendship that is outside your relationship mm. there's just no need yeah, for I can it see you uh -huh. want to come in, but before you come in um antonia and yeah. Talia, um, jackie do you mm. frown on your other half having a female friend i do i do Sorry, say that Say, say do that you again. have a problem or do you, do you, are you against your husband or your other having a female friend? In I what am. way? In what way? Female friend. Well, friend. What way? Someone to talk to. No. Nah, that, no, I'm no, not no, agree no, I should be no. the one that you talk yeah. to. No. Yeah. Sorry. No. You can have a hello, hi friend, but I don't even want yeah. you guys to be exchanging no. text messages or no. phone calls or anything. That's right. I am your friend. I yeah. am your friend. The moment you <laughs> yes. said, I do, I do, forsaking all others, yeah. it's yes. me. So focus on the winning, the winner. Focus on me. Mm -mm. I, Let's not do that. I think if he or she starts having friends outside then that's an indication that something is wrong somewhere okay. so if my husband starts exactly. speaking to someone on the phone all the time okay. no, i need to check no. myself mm -hmm. exactly. i need to then communicate me, so what's going on to... what's, why are you talking to to this person mm. okay hold on let me go to celia then i come to jackie i mm -hmm. think i think this is why it's very important that when you're getting married marry your friend right mm -hmm. marry someone that you're friends with marry someone that you know marry someone that you're comfortable talking to because mm -hmm. when you marry someone that you're not then you end up finding somebody else out there that you're comfortable talking to and this person might be your ex it mm -hmm. might be a, a just a friend who is very concerned okay about you and also i was watching a film um it's called fatal affair on netflix and um this woman, she was working somewhere and then one of her old time classmates that they kind of had a thing. So they came mm. and started working in the same firm. One thing led to another, they went out for drinks. And this woman mm -hmm. has a husband and a not, very beautiful family at home. One thing led to another, they, they went out for drinks and before you know it, they ended up in the toilet of the bar that they were in. I'm telling you, the reason I say is so disrespectful, not just to the woman, but to the husband. Because number one, this man knew she was married. She mm. has children, but the man didn't care. He just wanted what he wanted, right? Okay, they ended up in the marriage, the, in the toilet. The man put her on top of the sink and touched her up and felt her breast and everything and took her, and they were kissing and the man took off her pants. Okay. It was just as the man had done all for me. All that already is already sacrilege. Yeah. And then he removed your pants and flung it to one corner. This hey. was the corner. Yeah. And this you was now wear that pant again. This was yeah. when the woman realized that, oh my God, hold on. I shouldn't be doing this. And, to her and walked out of there. Do you understand? So for me, that is already cheating. Even though there was no penetration or nothing happened, but for me, that was already cheating. And she's already reduced her, mm. her bride price, I don't know what to call it. She, just, she shouldn't have put that me. line of communication. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So for me, as I said, marry your husband. Don't dangle a fish in front of a cat. Okay? If I know that I have an ex 
thank God I don't have any sort of emotional feelings towards any of my exes, right? But imagine I did, and is that person I'm talking to all the time, and maybe at mm-hmm. home, my husband is um, abusing me emotionally, he's not telling me I'm pretty, or he's not there, you know, he's not giving me that attention. Of course, you're probably going to end up going out to that ex that gives you the attention, mm-hmm. and the ex that still tells you, I'll marry you in an instant if you come mm-hmm. back to me. So I think mm. as women and men, we need to be guarded. Don't bring things into your relationship that is going to potentially tempt you because you're not Jesus Christ. You no. Will understand. So there's no need for you to bring all that into your... Marriage is hard enough without having all this added... Extra the curriculum. Extra, extra curriculum. All right. I'll go to you, Jackie. Yeah. Jackie. Mm-hmm. yeah. So I, w- I was just painting a picture of that really and truly sometimes affairs are not something or flings are not something that you sort out mm-hmm. it happens accidental and in the fact where your husband is emotionally abusive you've got that listening air out there at what points do you then say well uh, well he listens the one at home doesn't listen so let me just cross the border and just you know listen it, it's, it, you're putting yourself at risk you, you know it, 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 it's just not going to... Having a listening ear, especially if it's the opposite sex mm. and you're in a vulnerable position, you're not feeling good about yourself anyway. Your relationship is not going anywhere. You've got this person who, who you have, you can talk to, it's a male. It, 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 it can happen. Even the person who is meant to be there to support you can take advantage. Yeah. He can take advantage as well Mm. because he knows that you've shared everything with him anyway. That's why sometimes you see in a relationship, it's not good to talk everything about your relationship. If you've got a listening ear out there and everything you're feeding back to this person, my husband is this, my husband is that, we don't do this, we don't Mm. do this, I'm fed up, what am I going to do? And the person is there, it'd be okay, it'd be okay. But he's got his own agenda. Mm. That's man sometimes for you. Do you understand? And even the opposite way, the opposite. The man has a woman he can talk to. Women can be... Women women are, are dangerous as well. Mm. Your husband is there, your friends. They too will take advantage. Absolutely. So I think it's a no-no. I think you cannot have that closeness with somebody who you just talk to and share your personal relationship with out there like a, 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 the opposite sex it ain't gonna work it ain't mm. gonna work given what we've discussed now regarding differentiating between an affair and a fling with the fling is something that you probably did not plan for and with an affair is a steady gradual emotional investment so would it be easier to say it's easy to forgive a fling or would you forgive a fling and not an affair Given I wouldn't forgive the, either. Uh, sorry. You know what? I'm not even going to say because Talia, I'm... Talia is gangster. Can, sorry, Talia. <laughs> sorry, you're done. Oh, no, no, Jackie. Carry on, Jackie. <laughs> no, Talia, let me go back to you because I'm interested in your arsenal. I've just explained to you. A fling is something you never planned for. Okay? But an affair is something you've invested emotionally. It would have you taking that person out, winding them, dining them, chasing them as a matter of fact. Mm-hmm. So... Why is it that we can forgive, or should I say, can you forgive a fling? Why can't I, you forgive a fling? Why? I, can't, I just told you, wasn't something okay. your husband planned? It just happened. <laughs> I probably will accept it better. It doesn't mean I'll forgive it because you, you have to be able to control yourself at all times. And for you to, and I think I would, it will make me, if anything, question myself and question our relationship. If you are in a position where, you know, you're vulnerable and maybe let's say you're drowned, but I'm still not in your thoughts. That's going to be hard for me to swallow. And that's going to, if, if anything, that will break me. Mm. You know, whether I'll forgive, mm, you know, we'll come back to that one. I don't know if I'll forgive a fling, but I think I could probably accept it better. But and it, will, it will still damage me emotionally because of let's say you say that you you were drinking i should mm. be on your thoughts at all time like there was no time that you should forget that you have a wife that you don't want to hurt <laughs> so talia so would you if when you are drunk and then you then put me aside that's gonna hurt me 
Mm. Less, so less Fanny, less would it go to the point of actually ending that marriage, for example? You know what? Yeah, I have a zero tolerance to cheating. Like that is one thing I have always said that I will not forgive. Yeah. So whether mm. it's a fling, it's an affair, oh. I have said that uh, it will take everything in because like, because it's a betrayal. And it is. It is Italian. A let, let me stop because I, I need to. I, can't, I wouldn't cheat. Hold on, I hold on. Cheat. There's nothing that will make me cheat. So All if right. I, Italian. if I, it's best let I don't me know. interrupt you for two seconds before I go to the others. How mm-hmm. long have you been married? Sorry, I've been How married been? eleven years. So eleven years, eleven Christmases, eleven birthdays, eleven um times. A reminder. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to let her <sighs> understand. 11 um, dining, 11 years of kisses, 11 years of arguments. Them arguments with bringing um, makeup sex, you know. <laughs> You're going to throw that away for just one mistake. Listen, one, it, that guy like, I said, remember. like I said, yeah, it, it, will, it will really take everything in me because that's something I have always said that, you know, I have zero tolerance for, you know. And... I don't know. I, I can't. I, oh, Lord. That's the height of okay. the I think, I, think, I think where it's coming from is the fact that um, I, when I went into my marriage, I went into it, you know, wholeheartedly and said, you know what? It's, it's something I've always wanted. I always wanted a family, you know, and I got married really young. And so I put my all into it and I, you know, I, I took my vows very seriously and I'm, I'm, I'm praying and hoping that he does as well. I think he does, mm. you know, and I think it will really, it will literally rip my heart out if anything like that happened. And hence the reason why I'm always saying I, I can't forgive because I don't know how I would move on from right. that. And that's okay. honest. That's my honest. Oh, listen, hey. Hold on, Jackie. Let me let me go to Antonia. Hey, <laughs> for better for worse, worse mm-hmm. contains. I, I don't have hey, that can one. Can I just day. say, worse <laughs> contains some situations where cheating is involved, and I'm not here to condone cheating. Of course but not. When you look back at the investments you've made, eleven right? Christmases, said eleven birthdays, done, because men are men you know, they will cheat. And you can only forgive what you know. You don't know a lot. No. You know, That's the reason true. why I'm saying that we I'll know a lot, know. but we don't. It's true. Yeah? So, when men cheat, and they come back, because I've seen marriages that, oh, the men would have an affair, and mm-hmm. actually move out, and mm-hmm. go woman for a number of years. After, mm-hmm. then later, we come back home, they'll say, ah, mm-hmm. the eyes are not open. And hey, you will be happy. Close, and you will be happy. They will even go and testify. Yeah, so, yeah. So, as <laughs> women, we go through a lot. You know, we, we only pray that we're not in that position where we'll be saying these stories. Yeah. Men will cheat and Thanks. men will come back. Do you understand? Is I, don't, that, I yeah. don't know if I'll be able to forgive it. I, I have to be honest. Mm. Yes, that's true. That's your thing. That's true. Yes, true. Jackie, it was yes. just a fling. It wasn't thought out. It wasn't as if he forgot about you. It just happened. <laughs> mm. yeah. So Listen. why can't you why 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 can't you forgive that? First of all, I want to just touch on what Antonia said, okay? And men cheat, okay? Some we know, some we don't know. And it's as simple as that, okay? And from past experiences, I've been down that road. I've made, I've just made a decision, don't think about it, done, finish, out. Just like that. Just okay. like that. No thought, you've you, you, you betrayed me, I'm hurt, I don't want to forgive you, get out. I'm talking eight year relationship, all right? Then. I'm, I'm more mature, I've grown up, I've seen things, I've heard things, okay? My mum is a prime example. My mum had seven children, and after years of marriage, my dad messed about, mm-hmm. and she put him out. The devastation that caused us as children. Mm-hmm. To this day, my dad has passed away now. You girls know, 
yeah? Yeah. May you rest in peace. Amen. I know to this day, my mother regretted it. You know why? Because she never really looked at what she invested, yeah? A fling, I don't, I mean, I'm not condoning it. I don't think you should have, you should have a fling, a fair issue. You're in a marriage. Respect that marriage. Could I forgive? If, is there remorse? I, I, it's really, I don't know. No, I with don't the social know. idea, there's remorseful? always remorse. They're remorseful. Is it, is, are they remorseful? Is, are they, is that, you know, you just find out. Are they remorseful? What, you know, it, it's not an easy situation. I've been down that road. I've been down there. Okay, but at the end of the day, Talia, I mean, are you going to give up that 11 years because of a fling? I don't know. I don't know if I can forgive like that. And even if you do, it, it's always going to be in the relationship. You understand? It's exactly. Gonna, it will, it's it will be, be, be a, a reminder but all the it's, time. It's always going to be I, a reminder. I can't. But at the end of the day, I have heard people have um, um, flings. I've heard them testify in the church mm. that mm. opened it up yeah that, that opened it up that that it's made the relationship stronger mm. okay it's helped other people it's <laughs> helped other relationships you know it's not easy and you know some people will just say that's it walking out forget it end it some people are more forgiving okay so it's it's difficult it's difficult I think um, though when we start hold on, to Talia, say, I'll come to you for two seconds. I just want to go around the room because I'm going to hone in and come back to you. Now, Talia, you've been married for a while now, so it, it's not. I'm not wishing this on anyone, but it was a mistake. The coach didn't think like that's nice. It just, mm -hmm. it just guys, you know how handsome he be, and then his shirt, <laughs> his lapel, is that there, and then. He doesn't drink, but you know, he was just talking in this car and this sister just came and gave it hot and cold. And then you find out. <laughs> like, he, he did not mean it. Why are you laughing, Antonia? Well, the thing is, um, I trust my husband very well, very no, much. No, forget it for two seconds. Let's just say it happened. But the thing is, eh, the context, how did it happen? Because you, for me to be able to make a decision as to whether to believe or not, I have to see the playback of everything that happened. Honestly, because I need to see how it happened, who was talking to who, who initiated it. Except the woman, because I trust that my husband will never cheat on me because first of all, we're friends. And then he's my husband. And then he's the father of my son. Do you understand? So for me, I want to see what happened. Except the girl raped him, okay? I don't, I don't see that my... Yeah, honestly, except the girl raped him. I don't see that my husband would cheat on me. And let's assume he did. I don't know what I would do. I don't want to be a hypocrite and sit here and say, oh, no, I'm going to throw him out. I'm going to do... I don't, I don't want to sit down here and, and say um, that. Again, I don't want to sit down here and say, I'm going to forgive him because it has not happened. I haven't mm -hmm. found myself in that situation. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who her husband cheated on her, right? when he followed some of his guy friends to Nigeria, right? Mm -hmm. She saw it. She knew that the man had cheated on her. But you know what she told me? She said he was so stupid, he couldn't even hide it. <laughs> <laughs> so she was not angry that he cheated. She was angry that the guy could not even hide it, right? Because I think they were somewhere and the girl he had cheated on was chewing him and she knew that that was the girl that he had cheated on. And what did he do? He bought her a handbag. And that what the, yeah. what he bought his wife a handbag. Yeah, he bought her a handbag to say, I'm sorry, because when he came back from the trip, he was angry, right? And he bought her a handbag and she kept quiet. I hope okay. it was a designer bag, though. Yeah, it was a designer bag, but come on, what designer what handbag is worth your husband's what? dick? Yeah? So at the end of the day, yeah, at the end of the day, people forgive things. And you wouldn't know. That girl now, if she hadn't told me that, she might come tomorrow and be saying, no, for what? My husband can never try that nonsense. Not lie. Well, because in does, he's doing it. So we have to be very careful. I'm not going to come here and say, I will forgive or I won't forgive. I don't know what I'll do. Let me let it happen to me first and I pray it doesn't. I okay. pray it doesn't because I know Jim won't survive. Because even Antonio. if it's not, sorry, Yuri, even if it's not full-blown sex, whether it's oral sex or whatever it is, you know, whether it's your, your, the girl giving your partner oral sex or your partner giving the, your, part, your partner giving the girl oral sex, that is even worse. 
Do you understand? That is even worse because imagine your partner, your male partner, giving a girl oral sex. That is ridiculous. How can you even move on from that? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't think, honestly speaking, and I'm not even trying to, like you said, I pray it doesn't happen. But I would rather not know because I, I don't mm. think I'll be able to get over it. So tell me, what if it's not full blown so sex that, that you're... I won't be able to get over it. And yes. that's, I'm being, I'm being honest. I won't be able to get over it. So really and truly, it will be best that we just go our separate ways because I'll bring it up every time. Mm. I will bring mm. it up. Mm. And mm. I, and mm. I respect you for that. I will bring it up. I won't be able mm. to get over it. Mm. And that's just mm. being yes. truthful. Mm. I, I can't, I can't shift yeah. Whilst Sorry. we were just talking, I was thinking, how about if, for instance, you're in a marriage and you're not giving your husband as he should? And That's the reason why I make the extra effort. Hold on, let that land, let her land. Let her land. And he then has a fling. What, what, how, how would you take that? Can I answer what, that? What, what, hold on, what Antonia was trying to find out, at what point do you then take ownership for the problem? Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Now, let me tell you, eh, me, I'm very, I would discuss, right? So that, again, I would encourage partners in relationship to have that discussion. Mm -hmm. If you think that your partner is not sexually satisfying you, okay? If you think he's not sexually satisfying you, first of all, what you should do, you should have that conversation with him. Okay, have that conversation with him and say, this is it. And if the woman, for some reason, feels that she cannot continue to sexually satisfy her husband, then they need to agree. Okay, oh, is, it okay? is it okay for me to step out? If it's okay for me to step out, then let's have that conversation. Then let's look for the woman. Yeah? Okay. Let everybody... Be <laughs> All right, hold on. Honestly, what, 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 Celia is trying to say, what Celia is trying to say is that let it be an entanglement. <laughs> If, let if it be that's what the woman wants, then let's, okay. let's don't do it behind my back. Let's know what you're doing and let's know who you're doing it with. Okay. Period. I, I know we're about to run up, but I've got a fine, uh, kind of two questions I want us to just sidefire into quickly. Say, for instance, there's something that you and your partner do, it's your you thing. Okay, you know, you, you've got some things that some people are doing. Some people golf together. Some people eat in a particular place. There's something sentimental that you do together. Mm. And then you find out that your other half has had the same experience with someone else. <laughs> and yeah, you're just giving it to me those guys today. Because it goes to you. Because even <laughs> you know, I say it hurts you for body I, I don't know. I don't know if I, I can't put in words the 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 way I, I okay. hold my marriage and the way I hold my relationship and the way I value my family, I can't put it in words. Hence the reason why I'm so passionate and I'm so emotional when I say, I can't, <laughs> someone has to die because I can't, I, I can't, I won't be able to get over it. And then if we have the special thing that you've now done with this other woman, ah, you've now, you've literally put a dagger in my heart. Mm. Like, what, what else is there? Yeah. You mm. know, I have to live with the fact that you've shared your body with this other person. And then I now have to find out that the things that we do that I hold sacred, you've done it with her as well. Like, come on. Like, how much more can a human being, I won't be able to take it. And that's because, you know, I... I don't know. No. I'm, it's probably not even a good thing. Cause now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking, geez, man, you, I would, I would probably die. Like I don't think I'll be able to function. And no. I think I need to seek counselling for this because this <laughs> is serious. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, it's serious. I hear you. I hear right you. Now, I'm I just, hear you. I'm dying in laughter because I can imagine. I can I'm hear you. People's heads off. Oh, Lord, Antonia, you know, there's something that. The, the beauty about this panel is we all bring this level of maturity. Mm. And Antonia is just like me. She sometimes sits on the fence sometimes. So mm. I'm, I'm going to yank <laughs> you to the side. There's something that GP does with you, personal. Mm. And it kind of connects. But you find out that some is done it with someone else. Hey, God. <laughs> I think that's a betrayal, like I said, like Talia yeah. said. I'll be in, I think it would I'd be hurt help me a lot. Yeah. It would really affect me. Yeah. Because I don't want to condone flings, but I don't want to say what if I compare that to fling, I'm not inclined to say I'll feel more hot by him sharing something sacred. 
than him having a one night stand with someone else. If I'm to compare it to, okay, you know. But um, I think I'll be really hot. I think because that's that's me and him. That's intimate. For that's me. your thing. I, I think there are different levels of intimacy and sex is not just um, um, the beat or all of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me personally, you know, I, I I prefer the moments that we share together. And mm. if that's being shared with someone else, that means he doesn't love me anymore. That's you telling exactly. me. That. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, Jackie, just think about it. You, your, you and your husband, you like creating something beautiful. It's your thing. But well, he's gone out now different to create this beauty. It's not sex. It's just an experience. No. I'll be hurt. It, 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 I'd be hurt. I, I would sexual. be hurt. It, it doesn't have to be sex. It doesn't have to be sex. Whether it's whether it's just time out, talk, conversation, long conversation, talking, gisting, you're happy, she's happy. That should be me. Mm. Exactly. It, it doesn't have to be sex. It doesn't have to be sex. It could just be simple time, quality time spent with another woman quality time in a nice environment that's our time mm. i would be hurt i'm i'm, I'm i'll oh, be hurt i'm emotional i'm an emotional person as well i would be hurt mm. jackie you know, before i go to celia are you saying that if if you if you're not there he's not allowed to be happy of course he's allowed to be happy but he's me happy. <laughs> yeah of course he's allowed to be happy and you know you know i'm sure you know we all have we have whether we have a um, male friends in a group or female if i'm not gonna tie my husband down it's just not me okay it's just not about me it's about that that respect that our relationship the worth what we have that's what's, what it's about but at the end of the day still no i don't care nobody says everybody's got their own opinions you know but um Nothing's guaranteed. Mm. We all want a perfect relationship. We all mm. want somebody to be loyal. To. We all want it. We don't go into it no other way but believing that this person is about me and you. And I'm sure at the time, even the man, the woman, they go into it and they're thinking it's about me and you to a oh to part. But things happen. Okay. Thank you for that, Jackie. Celia. It's just something you enjoy with OG, and you don't mm. step out now and have it with another person. Mm. It's just an experience. For whom? Experience for whom? <laughs> experience for whom? Mm. It's, it's um, it's it's a betrayal. It's 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 a betrayal. Um, I don't. It, it's very painful. Um, mm. it's very mm. painful. I don't. I don't know. As Antonia said, that's even worse than a fling. Like mm. because sometimes you know. You can just say, oh, well, you can, you can refer to the, to, the, uh, to the girl and say, well, he just fucked you and that was it. She's my mm. friend, yeah? Mm. But then when the girl now said, no, that was not all we did. There was something that, 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 that yeah. and you're like, whoa, what? that's our thing. And he's gone and done it with you. Like, that's when you want to smash your head and that's when you want to you wanna do something to, to your husband, perhaps, right? So for me, um, yeah, no, it, it, that just takes you a step further and mm. you're not right. Well, another thing I was thinking, though, is I know we've all been saying, oh, you know, your husband should not, you shouldn't have a, a friend and blah, 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 a, a opposite sex friend and all of that and vice versa for our partners. What if you were just talking to a, maybe a friend at work or a colleague at work and um, you told them you liked something and you've told your husband you like the same thing and he was like, oh, okay. And then on your birthday, this your colleague at work ends up mm-hmm. buying you that thing, maybe a nice handbag or a nice pair of Louboutins. I know, Tyler, you're into Louboutins. <laughs> and, and they buy that for you. What would you do? Would you take it or would you say, no, thank you, my husband? It's my husband. birthday. It's when my I birthday. birthday. I'll take it. Now, it's my birthday. I'll take it. Oh, so hold on. So if a girl bought something for your husband now hey. that your husband has been wanting, uh, well, if the girl can it. afford it, knock yourself out. Take I mean, it back. Amazon will show me now. No, so if he tells you it's a girl from work, right? And maybe you've heard one or two I'll stories be about how this girl will. might be liking your husband. So you know what? No, go on, Talia. 
then I'll talk. I think I would definitely like as um I'll definitely suspect that, that, that something is a fishy somewhere. But if the girl if the girl can afford the gift, because me, I'll take my Louboutin, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but You're I would show my the door. husband. I would You're show my husband. The door. No, but that's the thing though. That's the thing. I can differentiate and I, I have this um full sense that I can tell when someone is attracted to me. So I don't I don't go that I'm I, when I, if I ever get an inkling that someone's attracted to me, I step back because I don't want to open any form of, you know, yeah. mistakes. Because mistakes can happen. I'm not a saint. I'm not Jesus Christ. So anything could happen. So mm. obviously, if I know that there's an evil motive behind the shoes, then maybe I won't take it. But if there's no motion, if it was just that, oh, you know, he just wanted to do something nice for me and he did that, I'll take it. But I'll definitely show my husband. He will definitely, in fact, we will, t- we will talk about it at length. I'll be like, oh my God, you know, oh, did you see this? And, and vice think, versa. Yeah, I think the thing about it, we've, I think we've touched on it. Communication is key. Mm-hmm. I love my lubes. Okay, so if anyone steps out, and for viewers out there, I can give you trash shit's um, address. Um, I'm a size 38 Italian, I'm UK5. Um, so I'm into the ACMM, not too high. So those are my specs when it comes to lubes. <laughs> what I'm saying is that I'm the kind of person that has conversations with my husband. So if you're that friend that sees how expensive my taste is and has gone out of the goodness of your heart that so goes so deep to you to go to selfridges, who am I to reject the work of the Lord? So I would thank you. I would thank you. Now, flip it around. The thing about it, we women, we've got the sixth sense, like Talia said, when a guy is checking us yeah. out. Sometimes mm. our men can be deaf. They know us, not Chelsea, blah, blah, blah. But sometimes they miss when there's a, 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 an that attraction. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So like, oh, do you know that person really vibes? They're like, for real? Yes, for real. And then you open their eyes to, yes, ah, that girl vibes to mm. me. So, but unlike a girl, we, we check every every attraction that comes in. Like, okay, yeah, this yeah. is for hand, this is for fish and chips. Do you get what I'm saying? We compartmentalize mm. things. It's true. See, I'll see, be laughing. So, I don't, like you, I don't have a problem with a work colleague and say, oh, actually, it's Ola's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, perfume. Welcome. I will be the one to drop him off at work the next day. And that is just myself. Let me tell you. Let me I'm so like, funny. hello, hi, I am Missy, blah, blah, blah. Thank just you for the gift. Oh, no, we are at home. Ah, and thank you for the gift. Now, <laughs> if anything happens of that, it's not on me. I've done my bit. It's for yeah. Mr. Man to go check himself. Mm. Let me tell you guys a quick story. At work, I think it was last year's birthday. So a, a, a guy, my colleague at work, a guy, he said, oh, I'm going to take you out for dinner. So I was like, oh, for your birthday, yeah, mm. well, maybe after work or at lunch. And I was like, oh, really? Oh, thank you. So, so I told my husband that, oh, look at what this guy has said. So my husband said it joking and said, oh, that's your work boyfriend and blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I mean, I'll go and eat the free food, but because we're just, you know, work mm, colleagues. Yeah. And he, I was like, yeah, yeah, go, that's fine. Anyway, but you see, as a Bini girl that I am, I'm sharp. <laughs> so as soon as I agreed to go for that dinner, I sent a message to three of my friends at work. And I said, this person is taking me out for my birthday dinner. You guys are coming along. And obviously Simple. now, yeah. And I said, you guys are coming along. And this person, they were like, yeah, yeah, sure. Of course, of course. I was like, but you better carry your vex money. <laughs> <laughs> In case this boy says, no, I'm not He's paying. Not paying. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the day came. It was a lunchtime dinner we went for. And guess what? I told this guy, listen, so, so, and so people are coming. And he said, oh, okay, well, I hope they have their money. Because, oh. said, yeah. because it was your birthday. Yeah. He said, I hope they have their money. Because yeah. number one, I don't know what he was thinking, but at this point, he wasn't happy that I was inviting people. And I'm like, sorry, I'm not trying to sit down with you and we'll be looking at each other eye to eye. You don't put I yourself in that You understand? So let's, let's make it a party. And we did. Mm-hmm. And we all went. We all took our money. And when I finished eating, the boy was like, ah, ah, Senior, what did you eat? Why is your bill that high? I was like, listen, if you don't have money, I have my wallet, I'll pay for myself. But again, what, what am I trying to say? That's just a way when sometimes when people think that they have something with you, you die yeah. in the situation and say, no, you ain't got yeah. nothing with me. Right? Yeah. No, you haven't. This same person, he said to me, oh, Celia, you know, introduce me to your friends. One evening, some, one of my friends came to my house. I was sending him pictures about this girl. And then 
he then said, oh, it's late. This was around 10 o'clock. And he goes, oh, I hope your husband is not looking and um, seeing you chat with me. I was like, no, me and my husband. I said, me and my husband are looking for the girlfriend for you. Like, do you understand? Because people will start thinking that you have yeah. to really show one. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. It's me and my husband that we are doing this chat because my husband was sitting right next to me and he was like, yeah, send, her the pic- send him the pictures. So mm. again, you just need to let them know. Mm. Don't get it twisted, darling. Yeah. 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 All right. In closing, apart from Celia, thank you for that. That was beautiful. I hope the guy is watching. We carry Vex money anywhere we go. Yes. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Antonia, have you had an experience like this? Mm, to be honest, I, I remember when I was newly married, um, my, uh, my ex-boyfriend would usually text me and we would chat. You know, uh, for me, it was kind of platonic. But um, I didn't, like you said, sometimes you don't see what other people can see. And because I was really open, I would tell my husband, oh, he's, you know, he's chatting me up. And my husband was really firm and he said, never. I don't want you chatting with any ex, any ex. So for me, it was just closure immediately. And I just said to him, you know what, my husband really doesn't like me chatting with you. You know, I know we can be friends, so when we see, but I can't. You know, mm. and this was by social media, mm. and that just put a line there. You know, but you know, as you mature, especially in marriage, you then get to realize that actually that wasn't um, a, a good path to tread on, mm-hmm. right. because it, it would it could have affected a lot a lot of things. It could have put an hindrance in my marriage. Mm-hmm. Maybe so, maybe not. But I didn't wait for that. I didn't get to that mm. point to be able to employ it. So yeah. Okay. Thank you for that. Um, Jackie, mm. experience, have you experienced this before? Um, I, I, <laughs> it's funny because um, I have an ex and it, it was years gone, you know, gone. And um, every now and then he does text me. Every now and then he sends a text and it, it might be okay, it might be a verse or, you know, how are you? How's your husband? I'll say fine. But then sometimes when he sends me texts and they've gone down another path and then I have to sort of like draw him up and say to him, so how is your, he's married. I say, so how is your wife? Mm. And you know, is your wife noticing what you're sending me? Mm. And then I've got to like nip it in the butt straight away. Mm. But he is still my friend. He is still my friend. And every now and then he does text me. But it, it's nothing, you know, it's nothing. Um, my husband has heard me mention his name. However, I try not to um, participate in some of the conversations he wants to have. I have to sh- either don't reply or I just nip it in the butt there. And then he might say something like, Oh, I don't mean to offend you. You know, I'm just having mm. a little joke. Okay, fine. And it finishes there. But um, mm. I don't think either, I mean, I don't know if I would like if my husband starts sending texts to, I don't think I would like oh, that. Yeah. So if I wouldn't like that for him, then I myself shouldn't really be opening you know, doors. Mm. That. No, because the thing is, doors can easily be open mm. and it just takes somebody just to walk through it. Mm. You understand? And, it, and then then it just leads to all kind of different things. So you've got to be really, really careful how you trade and, you know, and, and how, you know, and just don't open doors and, you know, so. Mm. Thank you for that. Tally, I know mm-hmm. you've got your guns. What, seriously? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. No, um, <laughs> no um, I, I think maybe a year or two into my marriage, like I said, I got married when I was 21, but I was very young. So, most of my exes weren't even married or even ha- were in a relationship. And I think a year or two into my marriage, um, one of my exes started to contact me. I, I felt funny. Like, I, I wasn't comfortable with it. Like, mm. I wasn't... Because, I, you know, I could still tell that there was some emotions and some feelings, mm. you know, behind what he would say. And I just blocked him. Yeah. I blocked him. I blocked him and I blocked him. Black, 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 black. <laughs> and I know that you know it's something that I wouldn't be happy with if my husband was doing the same. Yes. So I true. just said, yes. you know what? Before this nonsense gets any further, because mm-hmm. it's so easy to be tempted. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, temptation. So Even I just, Jesus was tempted. 
Yeah. Exactly. The thing yeah, about exactly. it is that I'm, I'm something they call petty filler. There's a reason you're an ex. Mm. I will yeah, end yeah. you, end the conversation, even end your ancestors where possible. Mm. So <laughs> I don't keep what there's a re, you know, I'm, I'm that petty. God forgive me. We end this, we finish. Even if we see on the streets, God don't let me jam you. Unless we ended it amicably. And it's very rare for you to end the relationship amicably. amicably yeah. hurt me or I hurt you. So I, I don't even entertain that. But I'm going to leave you at that. You know, this was really good with um, Talia now. Do you know, I just begin to see different layers to Talia now. I had a scene, you know, she can just be offering people anyhow. No, this is beautiful. <laughs> Um, it was nice trashing with you ladies once again. And as you can see, viewers, they'll be bringing their 110%, not just 100, 110%. So when this um, premieres next, um, when this premieres on Saturday, all of us will be in the room between 9.30 Nigerian time and 9.30 UK time, where if there are any questions that we've not covered, you can easily throw it and throw banter to Jackie, Antonia, myself, Celia, and Talia. So we leave you at that. We're riding out on our eyes. And to our partners, don't be keeping friends that are not necessary. You know? yeah. Don't be keeping friends that are not necessary. And to us as well. Yeah. And to uh, us. Do you know what we're saying that? Women, I think, and I, I, I'll, I'll close this on our eye. Women, we're like MI15, FBI combined together. We know how to peel layers. If you don't want to do something, we don't blindly walk into situations. But men, your blinders are on. So women, let's just let's tread carefully. And until then, then to next week, we see ya. Bye. 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 Bye.